guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is JC, and I am finally moved into my brand new apartment. It has been a stressful two weeks moving in right at the same time as my work getting really busy. So it's just a stressful couple of weeks and I'm really behind on editing some videos, but I do have those coming out your way soon and I'm excited to get back on the YouTube game. But before I could even move into this apartment, I of course had to move out of the sublet that I've been living in for the past two and a half months. So before my subletters came back, I did need to deep clean everything, wash everything, and make sure that the condition of the place was left for them exactly how they left it for me. So I figured if I'm gonna be putting hours and hours of work into cleaning this place, might as well film it for you guys. I was hoping for a more like, aesthetically pleasing and satisfying video but I was just so hyper focused on like getting it done that I wasn't even talking to the camera so I instead decided to do a voiceover and just kind of walk you through what I'm doing but also give some fun facts about maybe some cleaning feminist icons so let's just hop into the video and deep clean that sublet so the first step would be to put everything in the laundry so that way it can wash while we continue to clean and you know what yep this is already gonna be a long day, I can tell. Especially because I had to run back to my apartment because I realized I forgot the dish towel. So we gotta throw that in along with some blankets, the mattress pad, and some other miscellaneous laundry items. Then we gotta set our timer because people in this apartment complex get mad if you're not exactly on time getting your clothes out of the washing machine. So set the timer and then throw on some Netflix. Today we are watching Queer Eye because it's the best. So right now I'm just putting away all the dishes that I did before and trying to reorganize their cabinets, how they left them, but I couldn't really remember, so just doing my best. Then we're gonna take a long swig of water because I am thirsty and don't come for me because I do drink tap water. So we're just gonna drink water, and just keep drinking it. Ew, is that what I look like chugging water? Gross, oh my God, we get it, hurry up. Jeez. God, finally. Anyway, so we are just gonna put the dishes or clean the dishes. So I live alone and when I didn't have a dishwasher, I was initially annoyed because I wanted one, but then I realized I don't produce that many dishes, so it's totally fine. But speaking of dishwasher, did you know the first commercial dishwasher was invented in 1887? So Josephine Cochran, who is actually the granddaughter of the guy who invented the steamboat, designed and built what became the first commercial dishwasher in 1887. Ugh, a feminist queen. She initially named it the Lavadora, and it was basically like a wooden wheel inside a copper broiler with some wire compartments for the dishes. So once you loaded it, the wheel would be turned by a pulley and soapy water would shower down into it. But motor powered dishwashers weren't invented until 1920. That's mostly because our girl Josephine didn't have the luxury of indoor plumbing and readily available electricity, but with advancements in technology, a motor power version became available. However, because of the economic crash and World War II that followed that, it wasn't until the 1950s when the dishwashers became widely available for affordable prices. So all of that is thanks to our girl Josephine. You go girl. So next, I'm just going to bleach the inside of the sinks and wipe down all of the counters. You will notice that I use Windex for pretty much all of my cleaning needs. One, that's because I haven't bought cleaning supplies for my new apartment yet. And two, this was kind of all the cleaning supplies they had. So since they left that for me, I figured they thought it'd be okay if I just used it for everything. And I mean, it's Windex, it's a cleaning supply. Yeah, I mean, I'm cleaning the inside of the fridge here, so it's still kind of glass, so it's okay, but I mean, if it's a disinfectant and it's gonna clean, then I'm gonna use it. So we're just gonna wipe down every surface in this fridge, which was actually pretty clean because again, I meal prep, so I don't have a bunch of condiments that are getting the place sticky or I'm not spilling too much. So just wiping everything down and making sure that everything is nice and clean so that when they come in and bring their own food, they feel comfortable that I didn't contaminate their fridge and everything you see in the doors was actually theirs before that they left for me to use, so I'm continuing to leave those there. Next, we're just gonna wipe down every freaking surface in this apartment. So my subletters have a ton of knickknacks and tchotchkes and little home decor pieces that are just kind of a nightmare to clean around, and I'll show you a little bit of that later. But we're just gonna wipe down everything, make sure all the dust is off of them, and to show that I didn't touch their stuff except to clean it. 
So the next big challenge was the bathroom. So of course we're just wiping down every surface and I did have Windex for the shelves, but I do use some bathroom disinfectant for the rest. So I guess there is some other type of cleaning solution here, but just wiping down all of the surfaces, getting everything nice and clean. I also did film a deep cleaning of the shower, the bathtub and the toilet, which was super satisfying, but alas, I forgot to hit record so you may never know. But just trust me when I say that I clean those items. That was me being really angry that this nightstand is super dusty. So I have to go and individually wipe down every single circle. But just continuing to clean the bedroom, wiping down all the surfaces, making sure everything is clean, fingerprint free, dust free, and just shows that I actually did clean. The next step would be to vacuum. So they have this large area rug in the living room, which is the only carpet that I would need to vacuum. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm using a Bissell vacuum, and let me tell you guys a little bit about Bissell. So in the 1870s, Melvin Bissell and his wife Anna invented their own carpet sweeper innovation in order to keep their own crockery shop clean. Together they patented this sweeper and began selling it in 1876. But when Melville died, Anna took over the growing company and became America's first ever female CEO. Wow, a true ass pioneer of her time. So Anna was a huge proponent and salesperson for the sweeper, even convincing one of America's largest department stores to carry the product. But she was also extremely progressive with her employee pension plans and workers' compensation. She was an active philanthropist in her city. She sat on many boards and founded the Bissell House, which offered recreational opportunities for youth. So Anna Bissell, you a true MVP. Then I'm finishing vacuuming up the rest of the apartment using the bare floors function on this apartment. So don't worry, it's safe on these hardwood floors. Just making sure I pick up any little pieces of debris, any dust, and really just prep the floor for mopping, which is going to be our last step. Another fun fact for you was that, did you know the average woman cleans for 12,896 hours in her lifetime, while men only clean an average of 6,448 hours? That's nearly half. So men, if you're watching this, you need to step up your hygiene game. And women, if you're watching this, you ain't your boyfriend's mother, make him mop the floors. But also like, if you like, don't clean less if you don't wanna clean less, like keep cleaning. But like boys, boys step it up and stop making the girls clean. So next I am reorganizing the closet. So the way they configured their closet at the very beginning, I knew wouldn't work for all of my stuff. So I took a picture of it and now I'm just referring to that photo to put everything back to where it belongs. So this includes some drawers, some hanging shelves, as well as a shoe rack. And then just finishing it off by wiping everything down, making sure it's dust free. So that way, again, they're comfortable putting their things back onto these hangers and into these drawers. So finally, we're gonna mop the floors with some Fabuloso. So you can't talk about mopping and female icons without talking about Joy Mangano. You may have seen Jennifer Lawrence do a biopic about this Kaween, but let me give you a refresher. So in 1990, after pretty much growing frustrated with ordinary mops, Joy developed her first invention, which was the Miracle Mop, which was basically just like the first self-ringing mop but it was kind of successful, but once she actually took it to infomercials and KVCR, the mop was a huge success and became a household product. She has gone on to have 71 patent families and 126 distinct patent publications just for her inventions. Her products have sold billions of units and she's become a billionaire herself. So we stand a self-motivated and hardworking legend. So one of our final steps is just putting everything back where they belong. Like I mentioned, my subletters just had a bunch of tiny objects for decor, just like empty candles, little jars. Yeah, like it's a lot. And I actually put most of this away in storage because it was stressing me out how many little pieces that they had. So I have to put all of these back to where they came from. So I took pictures of everything before I moved in. So again, I'm just referring to those photos and putting everything back to where it belongs. So this includes books, decor items, plants, as well in the kitchen, I put away some of their more visual pieces and I'm just replacing those back, such as 
corks, books, and other little shelf items. So the last thing I like to do is I actually like to leave some dishes in the dish rack just to kind of show that I did wash some more obscure items. So I left in here like their tea kettle and some of their objects from their Nespresso maker. And then lastly, I like to show that I did wash some of their items. So this includes their pot holders, their dish rag that I ran all the way back to my apartment for, and I like to leave them a new sponge because they left me a new sponge. So I just kind of wanted to return the favor and show some good hospitality. And that was me deep cleaning the sublet. Um, if you like these kind of videos, well, I'm not gonna do another deep cleaning one for a while because like, my new apartment already got deep cleaned before I moved in and I kind of just clean as I go. But if you like apartment videos or if you like me and just want to join me on my journey as I move into this new place, as I continue to explore LA, then make sure to like and subscribe and join me in the future for some other fun videos because I have some fun ones planned coming up. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Toodles. Yes. Bot? What is that? I can't see what that is. Is that sweat? What is that spot? What is that? I'm too lazy to change.